Hey squad, Nardia here. So welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button to support this channel. I appreciate you guys. Turn on your notification, especially if you're following this postpartum vlog with me. Don't forget to drop your comments, any questions, just even if you just want to say hi, leave those down in the comments section. I do appreciate you guys supporting my content. All right, so today's vlog, I want to talk about, um, give you guys like a backstory and just to um, give you guys a summary, like an overview of uh, my postpartum journeys in the past so you know like the difference between then and now. As you guys know, this is postpartum four for me um, in the past 11 years. When I had Nyla, I was super fit. I had just got out the army. Um, I was on like a year break from working or doing anything. I just wanted to take some time to just adjust from being active duty now back into the civilian world. It was also um, a recession. So I got out in 2008 and then I got pregnant in 2009, had her February of 2010 with that postpartum i had just started going back to school for my bachelor's degree i was also looking for work um, i was working a part-time job as a mentor for new jersey youth core organization and a supervisor there as well so doing that going to school for um, my bachelor's i had decided that I wanted to go into law enforcement because it kind of just made sense from the military and it was just something that I thought was always going to be a vision for me whether it be law enforcement or maybe being a lawyer. So I went back to school to finish up my bachelor's which I had started when I was in the military. I just kept putting it off, putting it off and then eventually hmm, it just never happened. So I had like a few credits. Um, I want to say about 20 something credits plus they also convert your military credits uh, military training that you do to college credits so i had over like 60 credits when i actually started my bachelor's right and some of the stuff that i did in the military kind of went in line with going into the criminal justice field so um that was just an easy pick even though i thought i was going to be a teacher and then when i went to new jersey youth corps i said "Fuck these kids so i just didn't want to deal with other people's kids like i had nieces and nephews and it was just a lot and i said to myself okay maybe teaching is not for me right um and then i was just like okay let me um go back to where i was heading when i my mindset when i came out the military was to go into law enforcement and when i was out i was looking for employment it was super difficult like i said it was a recession i took a little year break as far as like even trying to aggressively look for work or employment anywhere and when i did start it wasn't any easier because now we're in 2009 and i was pregnant and i had to tell my come to a realization like girl you got to get a job because you're about to have this baby um also oliver was in another country so he was in jamaica when i got pregnant with Nyla and then he migrated here um, he didn't come here until a month after I had her so he wasn't there for the birth so that again was also a stressful thing so I had to come find a job I wanted to um, get my degree so I was doing that all while having a baby so once I had Nyla it was just okay now I have a husband he's here and um i have to be providing for my family because he migrated here so he did not have employment so i had to hold down the job and again i still had my goals as far as like finishing my bachelor's so i was doing that part-time working part-time new mom it was just a stressful um environment overall adjusting to not living anywhere because at that time too i was living in my father's house in this one room See, a lot of times people see your story and they're like they see where you are now they, but they don't see where you were so i was living in my father's one bedroom upstairs um when i just had nyla so it was me oliver and sir louis and nyla in this one room um one bedroom that had a bathroom and a little kitchenette then we moved because we got our apartments because at that point now i had steady income and um, even though I was collecting unemployment, I couldn't get uh, a, an apartment on unemployment. So I had to get like a job. So all of that was just like a total like 
man you're managing all of that and then trying to manage this new baby so with that postpartum journey i didn't even start going in the mindset of weight loss and anything like that until like maybe 11 months later i didn't start working out with um until january so i had nyla in february 2010 and i didn't start exercising again until january 2011 when i decided i'm gonna get my shit together because i wanted to look better feel better and it was just not i was just not used to my body being with that extra weight right when i was pregnant it was okay but now that i wasn't pregnant my clothes wouldn't fit i just didn't like how i looked in the mirror and i know it's all about self-love but you can still love yourself and still not be okay with what you see in the mirror i think this is why people get a um confused or they think that you don't love yourself like i love myself throughout the entire process even now but it's just like okay i'm not used to this or i i see something i'm i'm not okay with and i want to fix that that doesn't mean that i don't love myself and it, i looked in the mirror didn't like what i see i looked at pictures because remember it was the holiday time we did we did like family pictures and i was just like man i'm i'm fat i want to lose some weight my clothes don't fit they hella tight so then i started working out with her let me give you guys another backstory in that so i have service connected which is like i'm a disabled vet because i have degenerative disc disease and um i have two screws in each foot right and with the extra weight it just kind of made my whole body ache i remember going to the va i used to get steroid shots i stopped getting the steroid shots because once i had an allergic reaction that they gave me like this strong dosage and i couldn't walk like after i got the shots and this is when i started like taking my health like on a different perspective as far as medicine goes because when i was in the army they shoot you up you have no choice you get all the vaccines that they tell you anytime something's wrong you like give me the painkiller give me the painkiller and i decided like i never used to be that way even as an athlete i would just like um tough it out or do um, natural remedies to help myself and when you're in the army you have no choice because some of some of the stuff are forced on you i got out and i was getting these steroid shots and they weren't making my feet any better and when i had that reaction where i got the steroid shot one day and i went home and within 30 minutes i just could not walk i decided okay nadia you're not going to do this anymore so i stopped taking the steroid shots and i also was like okay my weight is a factor uh, my body is not used to being 35 pounds uh extra weight and i know i need to fix this so this is another reason why i was like okay january you got to get it together so from the time i started exercising january 2011 till about june july of 2011 i lost the 35 pounds so let's fast forward to pregnancy number two with naomi so this is four years later um, so from the time I had Nyla in 2010, I got pregnant in 2013, and then I had Naomi in 2014, right? During that time as well, I was hella fit with Naomi because I had finished the police academy in 2012. I had her in May of 2014. When I had her, I also had the intention of like, I'm going to go do this and snap back, right? I'm going to be different from the time I had nine, I'm not gonna let it wait that long. So I started exercising and walking and things like that within the first month. And honestly, like I quit, I wanna say, I'm gonna say I quit. I quit within maybe like the first two, three weeks of doing a consistent routine because I was tired. I, this was my first time actually breastfeeding i had breastfed with nyla but it was an epic fail we only lasted like a couple weeks but with naomi she latched instantly and just waking up at nighttime to nurse her even though she started sleeping at six weeks so i was exercising before my six week period ended and when i say exercise i mean like just walking and doing little functional movements nothing too strenuous just your everyday task as far as like squatting or lunging and then um taking walks with her right but again i was hella tired it didn't last as soon as my six week was over i went back to work and that again put a stress on me because 
when I was pregnant with Naomi, I had requested to go on night shift, right? Because I'm like, okay, with her, I wanted to do things different. We tried to do the whole daycare thing with Nyla. It was very stressful finding, trying to find a daycare that was suitable or met our needs. So I said I wasn't going to do the whole daycare thing. I want to do the homeschool thing with Naomi. And plus, Nyla was also homeschooling. But at this point now, she's going to school, right? So I asked to go on night shift. This way I don't have to pay for a daycare. So that again was an adjustment. So going back to work, when I went back to work, they told me, oh, you're going back to day shift, which I was pissed. Like, and I'm going to tell you guys, like, maybe I should do like a vlog talking about being a sheriff officer because those people fucking pissed me off. Like there was so much shady shit going on there. Like, I went back and they waited until I came back to work to tell me that, oh, your shift is changed back to days effective monday so say i went to work wednesday which i called them and told them hey i'm coming back at my six week time which was the perfect time for you to tell me that you're going to change my shift they didn't i went to work wednesday and they told me i needed to have daycare pretty much by monday to report to work at 8 30 which was not okay for me so i said you know what put me back out right so this again was another stressor, you know, dealing with a new baby, coping with um, this job, and just the overall stresses of trying to find a daycare. So um, back on night shift, and that was an adjustment, right? So now I'm permanently doing night work where I'm working from 11 to 7 with a newborn. So Oliver and I was like literally playing high five tags with the kids where he was working days, we would meet while he's going to work because he would work in the opposite direction. And when I got off from work, he needed to be at work for eight and it took him like an hour and a half, two hours to get commute to his job. So we would meet with the kids um, at a local gas station, switch out. Sometimes it was just some random store, like just meet me where are you, meet me here. And we would switch with the kids and I would drive the opposite direction to drive Ny Nyla to school and Naomi would stay at home with me. So after coming off of work from night shift, I would still have her. And that was stressful. So we were six months into doing that and it was right around November time frame when we took some holiday pictures and I'm like, oh, I did not like how I look, right? And it was just one of those things where you're like, none of these pictures don't look good. <laughs> and just black me out, right? And I know I was being like hard on myself, but it's just something like when you've lived a certain way your entire life and looked a certain way, it is just, it's okay to not be okay with how you're looking, even though you just had a baby. I know sometimes people are like, oh yeah, you're being too hard on yourself. And sometimes I'm like that, don't be too hard on yourself. But I figured like, hmm, I'm gonna do something about it because I knew I wasn't doing something about it. So I'm gonna do something about it. So in December of 2014, I decided, okay, we are going to get back seriously as far as my nutrition goes and my weight loss journey. So I started with my, um, started that in 2014. And here are some pictures and videos for you guys to see how that journey went. After I had Naomi, I did, um, <clears throat> After I had Naomi, I did bodybuilding competition in 2018. Yeah, the time time flies and like saw a jumbo. 2018, I did the bodybuilding competition and I self-coached myself. So as far as fitness goes, I have been doing this for a very long time. When I was in the military, I was also a fitness trainer there where I would train soldiers to pass their um, physical fitness tests and also weight control um sergeant there as well as far as like helping them with weight management and coaching them on their nutrition and just exercise for that so that kind of trickled into my civilian life because once i started exercising and working out i used to work out outside with nyla and do a lot of outside work because that's what i was just used to being in the military the gym was not like 
um, my go-to place and that's how I lost the weight with her just doing like body weight exercises using the most the heaviest weight I would use with her um, postpartum journey was maybe like 10 pounders and that was it and then with Naomi I did similar body work and at that point I started doing uh, weights I got a bow flex and just doing things in the basement now we're in the house hey we moved from that one bedroom in an apartment so we moved from a one bedroom room right to an apartment then we got a house no we went to another apartment and then we got a house hey so now i'm working out in the basement and this is where most of you guys initially met me was right around the naomi phase of exercising and weight loss journey there because now i'm on the internet because once i moved i had lost like people that i used to work out with at the parks clients that i had there and they were like how can we stay connected and when i had naomi i've always liked the whole group fitness thing and it just helps motivate me as well and push me so i started working out um, online just showing people how i was balancing being a full-time working mom and just having a baby to weight loss and helping others there and i just love helping people as far as fitness goes and and at that point a lot of my friends was like oh nardia you're so great at this this is your calling right and that's like another reason like i got okay with putting myself um on the internet it took an adjustment time to get comfortable and to block out people because you're always gonna have people saying shit on the internet you know trolls but um it definitely helped me to lose the weight and helped others and connected with me with so many great people that i've met over the years um and you guys who have supported and pushed me because i want to tell you guys like it's one of the hardest things to get up and exercise every single day by yourself uh, and staying committed and consistent and I'm gonna tell you guys you guys know if you guys been following me for a long time all of don't support me when it comes on to exercise right he is the most inconsistent person I think the most consistent he's been was yeah after I had Naomi we did the 100 day challenge and we were going through a difficult time in our relationship and he wanted to show me that I'm gonna be there for you and that was the most consistent he was ever like throughout this throughout our entire relationship as far as coming on to fitness um, with me but yeah it is it's one of those things where I would love for him to be my uh, swell mate my fitness partner in life but he's just not I've been trying for years and it's difficult because even now I still get pushed back like when I'm in the gym when I'm finding time to do for myself he's always complaining he's like you rather work out than give me some sex and I'm like absolutely yeah <laughs> like we even had this conversation the other day he was like you know if we had more sex I think I would be more active in the gym and I said hmm maybe if we exercise more I think I'd be more active in the bed like let's go we have more sex because you know like for me personally like when you stand and look at yourself or just feel confident it's body confidence even with the person you're with they're comfortable with you but it's just it's you not comfortable with you and i'm like let me go work out and then i'll give you some you know we could do the nookie but he's like let's do the nookie and then work out and i'm i'm my mindset that's just how I am with everything in life. I'm like, work and then play. Not play, then work. And that's his difference because he want to play, then work, and then work don't get done. Or work get half-assed. Like me, let me work and then we play equally. So now we are on postpartum number three. I had Caleb and in 2019 so i got pregnant in 28 because i was hella sexy hella fine i had just did the bodybuilding competition i was at the fittest of my life like even before the army like i was doing different things because now i was using weights which are things that you don't even use much in the army which i look at the army test now and see how much it has changed from push-up sit-ups in a two-mile run you don't need weights for push up and sit up in a two mile run right now they're doing like deadlifts pull ups um drag pulls and i'm like yeah like i love that doing fitness over the past year i, I can definitely say i have grown as well 
from body weight only and if you guys have been following me for a long time you know like we went from loving just doing body weight workouts to now adding weights and different types of equipments and tools just to change it up and to keep it um, energetic and keep you motivated to uh, stay in this fitness journey because it's a lifestyle and one thing I do love I do love using free weights and rather than the machine weights the only time I really like doing machines is like if I'm doing back or legs right but I definitely love 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 free weights all right so postpartum number three with Caleb I got pregnant in 2019 with him and now um, six months into having him we I started my let me go back I started postpartum six weeks then I epically failed you know um, it was just a roller coaster I don't know why I'm always in the mindset like Nerdy, you fit as fuck and it's gonna be easy as hell to lose this weight i'm always in that mindset or you worked out when you were pregnant because i worked out during every single pregnancy except probably nyla i didn't work out as much i did exercise with her but not as much as i did with naomi or caleb like with kate or Callan, which is number four like i exercised my life out with them and i felt like it was just gonna be easy or easier to lose the weight which at first i lost weight because i lost like 12 15 pounds when i have them and then for some reason my body decides to take it back on in a different form where it went from muscle to now fat and i'm just like what so started six weeks with him and i failed epically it just didn't work out we went i went on a little yo-yo ride of just adjusting again breastfeeding waking up not having enough sleep getting dark circles around my eyes darker than what they were because i got dark circles when i started working night shift because i wasn't getting sleep and now like dark circles and puffy eyes for uh on getting so much interrupted sleep like i already had poor sleep anyway but um, I also feel like I went to like into a depressive phase where I was just oh my god I'm a mother of three now and it's a lot of work and he's a boy and he's so much more active and he was shitting all the time oh my god this baby this little boy <laughs> it was so much poop but um, just adjusting to that and I just wasn't ready and so in January my body started feeling different and I was like, hold up, something's going on, right? So I took a pregnancy test. And long and behold, I was pregnant. And I just wasn't ready for that because I really didn't want to have any more kids. It was like I went through a touch and go phase where I was like, okay, are we gonna am I going to have this baby or not? I didn't even tell Oliver I was pregnant until like a month in um, after learning because I was internalizing just going through it again like i already know how i was feeling right now at this present moment getting up feeding the baby and and when i had caleb i was i swear to god i was in a delivery room and i was telling myself because i do all my pregnancies all my delivery natural right i had naomi home birth nala was a hospital birth it was all natural but it was a terrible experience did a home birth with Naomi and then we did um, a birthing center with Caleb. So while I was in there, the pain was so fucking intense, man. And I'm there toughing it out. And I, I was there telling myself, you're going to get through this because this is your last one. And then January 2020, I'm like, oh my God, I got to do this again. I don't want to do this again. And then I'm looking at him like, I don't want to deal with one of you again and i really um was not ready emotionally mentally physically nothing i wasn't ready at all and it took me like i said like a couple weeks to come to terms on whether i'm gonna have the baby or not right and i was just i just didn't know what to do you know and for me i'm i'm not a talker when it comes on to like expressing my inner most i kind of keep those things to myself and again it took me like a month before i told oliver that i was pregnant and even then i decided when i decided to tell him was 
at the point I decided to keep the baby when I was just like, okay, we're gonna do this, Nardia. This is it. All right, let's just do this. Um, and that's it. And I remember even telling one of my girlfriends that when I was pregnant, and she was like, oh yeah, remember when you was little, you was like, oh, we're gonna have four kids, two girls and two boys. That was, that was then. <laughs> But um, I do not regret the decision of having Callan. He is super, super sweet. I even remember apologizing to him a bunch of times, like after I had him, like, I can't believe I didn't want you, you know? Um, but to each his own, I support, I am pro-choice because I feel like at the end of the day, it's the woman, it's your body, you got to. And I'm gonna tell you, one of the reasons why I didn't want to have the babies because I felt like I was doing majority of the work myself. Oliver is a great provider, but when it comes on to like being at home and helping out with the kids, like I felt like he could do more and he wasn't doing enough. And some people are like, oh, you should be grateful that he's doing what he's doing. But I, I know that he could do more and I felt like he should do more. I felt like I was doing so much, you know, and back then too, in he had um he was like oh yeah when when i told him <clears throat> so when i told him that i was pregnant he was he was shocked too like he didn't know like he was like what and he immediately was like okay we're gonna do this for but for me i'm just like you mean i'm gonna do it motherfucker like that's what i was saying to myself but it it was a tough decision for me like because like it's 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 tough raising a human being and giving them your all and it's just a lot so now that i have Callan, he's super sweet it's still fucking hard and i feel like this is where why i am where i am um physically in my weight loss so now we uh got pregnant six months after i had caleb now i have Callan right they are 15 months apart uh, i started exercising postpartum number four i was doing really well six weeks so at six week mark i told myself that we're gonna start this i started i was doing really well with Callan's postpartum journey and just fell off like right around january i felt so overwhelmed and overworked and fucking tired and exhausted and emotional and Oliver and I was going through issues because kids play it they could take a stress on your relationship and for me I was saying to him like dude you're not helping me enough like I've been getting up for the past two years nursing a baby while you there sleeping your sweet ass you know and even though he's he says to me okay maybe you should stop doing your fitness thing Stop taking clients, stop coaching anyone, all of that. You know, I'll be the one that goes to work and do it. So I was like, okay, great, sure, I'll do it. I'll compromise. Let me, I came into January 2021, say I'm going to compromise with him. And that's when I posted that, hey, um, any content I post is going to be free because I'm just pretty much working on my schedule, not your schedule. I'm not going to post when I'm coming online. You know, just do things randomly, right? This is why you guys been seeing random shit on my channel. <laughs> I thought that would like be okay with him, but I think he perceived that as me not wanting to exercise. Like because I agreed with him, he felt like I shouldn't be exercising or exercising at all. I don't know what his state of mind was because when I was coming to in the gym, he was still yelling at me for being in the gym, or we were still having issues there and um it's something that we are working on and i don't want him to seem like he's a bad person because he's not oliver's a cool guy you know he knows this but and i'm not gonna seem as if i'm perfect either but i need to fucking work out bruh like this is this not only helps me to get to my goal but it helps me mentally like to relieve stress because even this past year, as, as far as a pandemic goes, like these kids have been stuck with me. No, I haven't had no help outside. I usually go from my, my maintenance weight is about 155, 160. And when I can get pregnant, it's always usually around 180, 185. So right now, I got on a scale a few days ago, 
two times two different times and it was just one said 179 which is the morning 179.6 and then the even afternoon time it said 183 right so i want to say all right say hi <laughs> okay so what we were saying guys uh, mommy duty calls so my biggest focus right now is my nutrition so i'm not saying i'm a bad eater i just eat poorly when it comes on to like if i'm super stressed i won't eat if i'm super busy i get so caught up with work 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 that i don't eat and if i'm so tired sometimes i just feel too busy to get up and eat so my focus is definitely nutrition right and exercising three times a week and doing 10,000 steps all right guys thank you guys for watching we will see you next time Huh? Uh. Uh. <laughs> hey guys and before you go don't forget to subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up follow me on instagram if you're not doing so or on my facebook see you next time